Hello, hello. Hey, Sash. What's going on, darlings? How are you guys? How are you guys? I would like to start this reading by saying thank you to all of those of you who have subscribed. Welcome back. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares. Thank you for your donations to my channel through the Super Thanks. I appreciate you guys oh so much. To those of you who are new to my channel, I am Lee. I will be bringing you the tea, baby. I keep it real, so I might get a little raw and reckless up in here, but my intention is to never hurt your feelings. So please take what resonates with you, and what does not resonate with you, you leave it behind. Please take a moment to subscribe. Please like, okay? If at any time you feel you want to send me a little comment, talk to me nice, I read those. Okay, but any interaction is good interaction. It helps the channel to get across. It helps the reading to get to where it needs to go. It is free to you guys, so please don't be shy. Please, let's help each other help each other. Spirit, ancestors, angel guides, you are welcome into the room for a general Sagittarius read. So, we're going to start with the power of love. We'll get some messages from the Archangels. We'll get a pop of love and money. We'll see what's the tea. And where spirit goes, we will follow. Picking up on the energy of our Sagittarius's. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? We get clear, concise messages for our Sagittarius's. Spirit, ancestors, and you guys. Clear, concise messages for our Sagittarius's. See what's going on in your heart space, darling. Freedom. Freedom. You are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. Freedom, baby. Freeing yourself. People, places, and things that ain't for you. Woohoo. Ownership. You acknowledge your mind. You acknowledge your misdeeds. And accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons taking accountability whether it's good or bad okay taking accountability hopefully learning the lessons because there's always lessons okay your actions can sometimes cause you to make some decisions that are not in your best interest being able to acknowledge them and seeing them for, um, I don't want to say mistakes. I want to say something more like um, seeing them as lessons more than seeing them as mistakes. Okay. Taking the lesson. I did this. This was my outcome. I don't want that to happen again. So we won't be making that. We won't be taking that action again. Okay. Um, it, we can say mistakes, but when you say mistakes, it's not, it doesn't feel like taking accountability. And right now it feels like being accountable for your actions. Okay. Accepting your actions as being part of whatever the outcome was. Okay. So we're moving on to the archangels, picking up on the energy of our Sagittarius. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? A little guidance for our Sagittarius's to take along the way in their soul's journey. So here we go, darlings. Here we go. Message, Ten of Gabriel. Ten of Gabriel is the Ten of Wands. And the King of Raphael, King of Cups. Okay, so you may feel like you have a lot of responsibilities. Um, you may be uh, taking on most of the responsibilities or you have been left with responsibilities that you didn't feel you were going to have to manage alone. Um, the message on the card is ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. With the freedom and the ownership, it's like taking ownership 
and deciding to free yourself from a burdensome situation. King of Raphael, someone who is warm, generous, honorable, and refined. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yes, it is safe to trust. The ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passion. Okay, so your archangels are here to send the message that you can get things done. Um, you may be feeling a little overwhelmed at the time, but once you start to acknowledge things for what they really are and you start taking the steps into changing, because if you want change in your life, you have to be the change. You have to start the change. Okay, so... Once you acknowledge things for what they really are or how they're going and you decide that you want some type of changes and you start taking actions towards those changes, okay, then the load, it will lighten up. You will be able to uh, move forward. Um, there may be helpful people, people that are willing to help, that want to help. We have helpful people there. We have a king of swords over here. Okay, so let's get a pop of love and money for our Sagittarius's. Pop of love or money. It was just one. I thought it was two. And you have honor. Yes, baby. First place, darling, overstays accomplished to gain honor and misleads others. So you may be dealing with a bullshitter, or you may be believes they can't control their reputation and blames others for lack of honor. Mm. Oh yeah, that's a trickster. It's a trickster because when I first seen the card, I felt like winning. I felt like um, being in first place, I felt like uh, like it was a good thing, and it turned out to be not so good. Okay, this is someone who gaslights. This is somebody who um, tries to they move from ego. Um, they make it seem like it's better than it really is, or that they're better than they really are. Um, they may be still searching for outside validation with the they can't control their reputation, which means that. There's people that really know their true colors, may talk shit about them. They may say that those people are lying, those people are exaggerating, that's not how it went. Uh, but the truth of the matter is that they're the ones who are full of shit. Okay, over here we have independence. Realizing the need for change, Sag. Okay, that's what it feels like your energy is picking up right now. Striving for karmic justice. Experiencing loneliness despite physical presence. So it feels like you gotta, you feel, you may be feeling like you gotta make it happen. You have to take care of all the responsibilities. Um, feeling like, let me put this over here because it, it really feels that way. Okay. Feeling like you have to pick up someone else's slack or you have to accept someone even though they're not up to part. Um, it seems like you're coming, you're realizing the need for the change, okay? Because if things don't change, they're just going to get more heavier with the Ten of Wands. Uh, you may be already feeling burnt out. You may already be feeling overwhelmed with the situation or the whole big picture. Okay. Okay. What is that she got in her hand? Oh, she's laying bricks. She's laying bricks. She's laying down the foundations for her future. Okay, yes, here we go, here we go. Let's see what's the T for our Sagittarius's. Okay, so laying the bricks for your future, laying that foundation. 
realizing that you're not getting the help that you deserve from the people that you're supposed to because although you may be in the in the room full of people you feel like you are lonely or like you're in it on your own like it's it's just you baby it's just you it's not enough lacking confidence self-sabotage ego and fear and frustrations so first one out paradise you're looking for forward to happiness and joy okay playfulness enjoying each other and a honeymoon phase okay so it feels like that's what you want it feels like that's what you're striving for or maybe that the honeymoon phase is over and you're starting to see somebody differently okay back to reality type of shit or getting hit with a taste of reality a reality check coffee cup meeting and talker meeting and talking savoring the moment feeling elevating and building a friendship so, or someone new may be coming into your life or you may decide to <coughs> socialize with this king of Raphael on the bottom of the deck with someone that will bring a different perspective give you their a, a different perspective help you to see things differently help you to understand that it's not always bad sometimes we just make decisions or choices that end up not how we plan okay deciding to take a chance risk not showing hand get Sorry about that. Um, so, deciding to take a risk or deciding to meet up with some friends or deciding um, to get some advice, some outside advice. Someone may just offer it up to you. Um, it's like, like building a team, like um, new friends. Um, Going to places that make you feel good, that make you feel better, making healthy choices, self-love and self-care, being happier, love and life. Okay, darlings, yes, making healthy choices and putting some shit to an end. Coffin, new beginnings, liberation, reborn and transition, tragic ending. It definitely feels like something is um, not going as planned. Whatever it is that's not going as planned can have a tragic ending. Um, let's put this over here where I can see it better. Because it just feels real relevant. It's like finally deciding to make a decision for your in your best interest. Freeing yourself from toxic situations that's not making you feel good is kind of sucking the life out of you. Uh, the Ten of Wands is a very heavy energy. It's a very, um, it can uh, feel very lonely no matter your situation, no matter who you're with, no matter where you what, what the situation may be. Feeling like you have to get things done, feeling like um, everything is on you, feeling like you ain't getting no help, um, or at least not from who you want it to be, because we have someone over here who acts like they're going to think, make things right, or like they're a winner, but they're, they're a loser. Um... Someone who's misleading, okay? Someone who's misleading. So we're moving on. We're moving on into the tarot for our Sagittarius's. Maybe time for some new beginnings. Something ending will bring on new beginnings. Spirit ancestors, angel guides, picking up on the energy of our Sagittarius. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? 
Do we get clear, concise messages for our Sagittarius today? It feels like there are, or or you will find people who want to collaborate. Um, they can give you good advice. They can lead you in the right direction. Um, they may just offer uh, their 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 friendship. Um, the Three of Pentacles is collaborating, working together. Um, For some of you, it may be like counseling. It feels like they're, they're like they're being counseled. Count, however you say that, counseled. The Three of Pentacles, cooperation, sharing. The Nine of Cups, being independent. Being independent, choosing you, self-love, you are enough, you have accomplished many things in your life to have you in a situation where you can um, take care of yourself financially and emotionally. Um, for some of you, you may uh, be changing jobs, something more satisfying to you, something that you really love to do, something where you'll be able to... Um, uh, work smarter not harder as far as um, it's not like a labor job um, something that's gonna bring you money so it feels like self-satisfaction okay it feels like self-satisfaction like you know your worth like you know that you can do it you've done it before we have oh Lord mercy. See, but there's you 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 have someone in your energy who there's fights, there's conflicts. Everything. Struggling, conflict, tormented, competition, aggression, belligerent, dramatic, fighting. Um, it's a loss loss energy especially with the two fives five of wands five of swords there's a loss loss energy so you may be feeling like it's time to give up because it's just too much drama ace of pentacles crossing there is a possibility for you to have a come up okay a new house a new car um some type a new job a new position um but it's like hasn't happened yet it's happening slowly the ace of pentacles ambitious potential new job okay having the finances that you need to purchase anything materialistic it can be a raise Okay, it can be a raise or a higher position, especially with the third, the three of pentacles, um, the three, pen, the three of pentacles and the four and the ace of pentacles sideways crossing gives me the feeling that you may need to save. Okay, not be spending on frivolous things so that you may be able to um, have what you need for your next step. There's a new beginning. There's going to be an ending. Okay. New beginnings means that something has ended and something new is being brought into reality. Okay? Three of Cups and the Hierophant. So, you may be feeling like we got two threes and threes is threes a crowd to me. Okay, threes a crowd to me, especially the three of cups. Um, so you may have a feeling that there's some type of interference causing some type of conflict in your life. Okay, you may not know exactly or it may not be something that is set in stone. But it is something that's brewing. 
Okay, it is something that's brewing. What is up behind my card? I don't want to lay flat. <laughs> um, the Three of Cups gives me uh, is socializing, is sharing. It's um, is in the center of the reading. Uh, for some of you, it may be celebrations with siblings, but it gives me hmm, um, it's not giving me the greatest vibe. So let's see. Queen of Wands. Okay, so Queen of Wands is Sagittarius. Feminine. Leo, Aries. Ace of Swords. It's time to be honest with yourself. It's time to be honest with yourself. That there are things going on behind your back that you're trying to ignore. Queen of Wands is someone who's independent, someone who is passionate about whatever it is that she loves to do or wants to do, someone who is a go-getter, uh, someone who's strong, independent, and intense, okay, darling? So, you have the strength within you, the power within you, too, but you're stuck. Three of Wands, bad timing, fear of change, afraid to move forward. Um, don't kill the messenger, but it feels like if you're stuck, it's stuck because you're ignoring something that you know to be or something that you don't want to see or something that you don't want to acknowledge. Uh, you may be afraid to put something to an ending, but it still will come to a tragic ending. Um, a tragic ending sounds horrible. It sounds like something's not going to end well at all. Okay? Like something's not going to end well at all. Someone is breadcrumbing you. Someone is giving more to one situation than another. You may be trying, you may be begging somebody for attention. They're giving it to someone else or just a group of people or they're just social butterflies, want to be doing everything except what they should be doing. Um, not being able to move forward because you're giving too much to a situation. It's not balanced. It's not reciprocated. It's not equal. Okay, it's not equal give and take. And so it's holding you back. It's holding you back. It's keeping it's even keeping your pentacles stuck with the ace of pentacles uh crossing. Okay. There we go. Whoa, whoa, there goes the tragic ending. Oh my goodness. So sad. Uh, this, this, this is not good. The tower and the devil is very toxic. Uh, it's a tragic ending. Okay, that tragic ending is like highlighted. It's like. The ending will, though, allow you to evolve and grow to the next phase. Healing inner child and releasing the past. For some of you, you have been through a tragic ending already in your life that you've been trying to heal from. Okay? The tower is disaster. This person or someone in your environment may become very toxic, very obsessive. You may feel trapped in a situation that's just crashing and burning. Uh, you may have tied yourself up with someone who has dark energy, who has negative energy, who is... Um, Someone who may have addictions, 
restrictions, uh, this shit is chaos right here. And then you have a chariot that's going to allow you to move forward towards the 11-11. The four of wands is 11-11. The four of wands is stability, home, relationship. The chariot is forward movement. The ace of swords is the truth, clarity. The four of cups is not being interested. The hierophant is needing to uh, gain some higher wisdom. Because someone is trapped by someone who is sneaky. Someone may be pregnant. Someone may be a mother figure. Someone may be wifey material. Um, but this shit is moving slow. It's not happening overnight because someone is juggling. Someone will be let out in the cold. Someone will be wounded. And then there's a king of cups ready to save the day. <laughs> okay, because he came right. Captain Sabo, King of Cups is someone who is loving, giving, someone who is emotionally mature. Uh, the King of Cups is a wide leader, someone who is affectionate and stable. Okay, the signs out here are Cancer, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. So far, can be, don't have to be. So, um, the tower is a wake-up call. You may just, it may just be um, something that happens that is going to allow you to see someone for their, who they really are. Okay, like they're, they're real true colors. Okay, someone may be holding on to you for all the wrong reasons. Nine of Wands, Wounded. The Queen of Wands, Sagittarius. So. Whatever it is that's going to happen suddenly, that's going to give you a wake-up call, it's going to leave you topsy-turvy. Okay, the Nine of Wands is... Um, the Wounded Warrior. Been through some things, going through some things, feeling heavy, feeling burnt out, tired, tired of being tired. Uh, it feels real heavy. It feels real exhausting, especially with the Ten of Gabriel that came out first with your Archangels. Um... It's not going to be easy, but you're strong enough to get through it because the nine of wands, you still have fight left in you, okay? Having confidence in yourself, this, this two of swords, although it's something that may catch you blindsided, uh... Uh, being at the crossroad, making a difficult decision, right? I believe that you can, you can do it. You can get the shot. You can shoot your shot, okay? You can shoot your shot. The Queen of Wands in reverse is someone who's being dramatic, insecure, disloyal. For some of you, somebody may hurt you. You may be trying to get your lick back. With the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it's a breakup, it's a separation. Um, it's cutting ties, taking control of some challenging situations. Uh, you may feel like you're taking a loss. You you may have you may be take getting like taking a loss, like it's a lose lose situation. Um that ending, cutting them ties, will give you the opportunity for new growth, okay, for to feel inspired, to move forward, um, hopefully to get back on track, because here, accomplish 
fulfillment, being able to do things, being independent, um, choosing yourself, self-loving yourself, knowing that you're enough, and then feeling um, insecure, feeling, uh, it feels vindictive, if you ask me. Oh, lordy, lordy. It feels vindictive. It feels like somebody doing something to you and you wanting to get your lick back. But um, I feel the need to have to remind you that someone is toxic as shit. Okay, someone is toxic as shit. Um, someone is um, toxic as shit. <laughs> Let me try to stay on this side. Or well, maybe I can make them go up. Hold on, give me a sec. So, um, cutting ties, breaking something off. Um, after some, some, a wake-up call, okay, it's a wake-up call, something that happens in, uh, suddenly, something that is traumatic, something that is, that causes an ending, everything crashes and burn with a tower, um, it's something inevitable, it's something that you cannot prevent, and then you have the sun. Much better. So, after all the drama, all the upheaval, it's a new day, okay? It's a new day. We have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Sun. So, we did have the Empress. So, you may have a Sun, y'all may share a Sun. Um, a sun may be the light in your eyes, what brings back inspiration into your life. Um, pentacles. Um, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. The sun is confidence, happiness, true success, love, optimistic. Being optimistic. Being optimistic about a new beginning with the ace of pentacles. Maybe a new job, um, being able to rest after after a long, draining unhealthy, toxic, tragic situation, being able to rest. Still having your guard up, okay? Still having your guard up because he, his arrow is um, lock and loaded, baby. It's lock and loaded. The Six of Swords. So, it seems like you will decide to go, uh, go ahead, right? Towards someone who is offering some love, some attention, some affection. Um, it can also be just to self-love, okay, to get away, to get your mind right, to get away, to think things clearly, to get away in order to um, the Six of Swords is help breaking free and moving on, okay. What I do not like about this card, and these are really beautiful cards, is the expression on his face as she goes. Like he's happy that she's going. Okay? But, but, she's the one who should be happy. Because the fact that he's happy that she's going so that he can continue to play, okay, makes her the winner because she's leaving the toxicity behind okay Sag so at the end of the day you still win okay you have the sun you have the six of swords you're moving away from the toxicity and that's the way you need to go because somebody got you topsy-turvy somebody is uh, trying to keep you stuck in a situation that's not good for you it's not uh, healthy for you it's not bringing in it's not helping you okay it's not helping you it's not doing it's not doing its job okay whether it's a person place or thing okay person place or thing so 
They think that they got they think that they're winning because you decided to walk away. You're winning because you're leaving the toxicity behind. Um, the two of wands is a pause. See, here goes the page of cups again. It's the pause. It's the pause to call in your power back. See how he's calling in his power? It's the pause to ca calling in your power back. It's the time that you may be um, changing your perspective, thinking about things, how they went, how they should go, how it's the pause, okay? It's weighing out the odds. It's weighing out the odds. Okay, so a pause. A pause to self-reflect. A pause to show yourself some love. A pause to just see things and try to understand things um, on your own time and on your own terms. There she go. The Empress. For some of you, uh, you may be having a son. We have the sun, we have the empress. Uh, you may be trying to... We have strength. So you're weighing out the odds. You're weighing out the odds and you are feeling like you are strong enough that you can do this shit on your own even if you end up being a single parent. Okay? Because so far... Um, having no kings hit the board at all. Let's see what signs are out here. Sagittarius, Leo, uh, Aries, feminine, Leo, feminine, Sagittarius, uh, Leo, Aries, coming out strongly. Um, Pisces, Taurus, let's see, Pisces, Leo, and Capricorn, and Cancer. Okay, so being strong enough to be able to create a new life, being able to create the life that you want to have, um, being strong enough and being able to have the compassion to um, give love, show love, be nurturing, be a, a loving. Um, the Empress, she's, she, she's that bitch. Okay? She's supportive. She's giving. She's successful. She's creative. She's loyal. She's nurturing. Okay? The strength card is... Um, It feels like compassionate. It feels like uh, taming the beast within. It feels like showing bravery, brave, bravery, <laughs> bravery, having confidence. Okay, having confidence in yourself. It feels like although someone, it feels like somebody got you fucked up. <laughs> okay. It feels like somebody don't realize that you put in the work, baby. Okay, that you put in the work, baby. Okay, and even though, see, this person is distracted. Look, the reason why it's not happening fast because the Seven of Pentacles is waiting, reflecting, investment, frustrated, impatient, and losing faith because the shit's not happening fast. But the reason why it's not happening fast is because someone is distracted. Someone is distracted by their toxic ways is going to cause a um, a disaster. Then we have the Hierophant, which is the divine God, your higher power, okay? Having your back, okay? Keeping you safe for the things that you cannot see. And although you may feel like you are left out in the cold, it's time to create your boundaries with the seven of wands. Stay grounded. You are protected. Boundaries, grounded, protection. Okay? There are people 
who want to show you love, okay? You may just need to call your power back. Close out this chapter so that your blessings can start to manifest right before your eyes. That's the Nine of Pentacles, baby. The Nine of Pentacles is spiritual and material satisfaction. The Eight of Wands is uh, forward movement, quick decisions, on the go. Removing yourself for a situation. Putting it to an end. Uh, I would say removing yourself from a situation. Was it? Ace of Wands. Feeling inspired, manifesting the love that you deserve, having the potential to put something to an end in order to release yourself from a time in the past or a time that you don't want to see yourself in anymore. Leaving the secrets alone, moving on, feeling like you are emotionally stable. Okay? And then that's where they start coming back in. The King of Cups again. <laughs> So, darlings, it is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. But it feels like you have to go through it. It feels like you have to make choices and decisions in your favor. It feels like you are strong enough. It feels like you are, um, you can create life. You may actually be bringing life into this world. Something that's going to make you happy. Something that you're strong enough to do. You have the sun, you have the empress, and you have strength, okay? You can do it with someone or without someone, okay? It seems like if you're going to do it with someone, you need someone who is more emotionally available, someone who is more like the king of cups, someone who is warm, generous, honorable, and refined. Someone who can control their... Um, it's like this person can't control their, the urge for attention, for outside validation. Um, it feels like they like to lie. They like to make themselves out to be something that they're not. Um, it seems like they may say things, but their actions and their words don't add up. So let's see what's up with the lovers oracles for our Sagittarius. Sagittarius, please like, comment, subscribe. Please share. It's all free to you. It helps the channel to grow. It helps uh, Cinderella to get her shoe. I appreciate you guys. May you be blessed. May you be blessed. May you be blessed. So let's get three from the Lover's Oracles for our Sag. Addiction. Snake. Mm-hmm. See, the thing about addictions is that they can come in many forms, okay? They can be addicted to money. They can be addicted to attention. They can be addicted to social media. They can be addicted to shopping. They can be addicted to um, drugs, sex, rock and roll. You can be addicted to anything that's that you're doing too much of can become an addiction. Snake, deception, shady, temptation, the enemy. Okay. Opposition, baby. The opposition. Oh. Faded meeting. Meant to be. Predetermined encounter. And the grass is greener on the other side. Jealousy. Better option. Unhappy. Deserve better. This can be what you're thinking. This may be what they're thinking. Maybe that's why they still play in the field. We have friends, acquaintance, trust, support, loyalty, storm warning. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Upheaval, obstacles, wrecking ball, drama. Hooking up because keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer, keep an eye on those around you who you trust around your situation uh when i stand intimacy casual relationship or fling 
That shit just gave me the cringe. Like someone is capable of cheating on you with your friend. Or somebody you know. So let's see what's hidden. In love. What may be coming up. What you may need to know. For our Sagittarius sis. Sagittarius please like. If you would like to send me a super thanks. On the bottom right of this video. There's a little heart. You can send me some love baby. Send me some love. I appreciate you. Thank you for the love and support you showed to my channel. Girl with the snake again. Coffee cup again. Double confirmations. Ascending. And on the bottom of the deck you have girl talk. Girl with the snake. Empath and narcissist paradigm. Empath and a narcissist relationship. It means that someone will always be giving. And someone will always be taking. Someone will never be grateful. Okay? Someone will always blame the empath. The narcissist will always make it out to be the empath's fault. Being charmed or used, it's time to enable boundaries. Coffee cup. Meeting and conversing. Savoring the moment. The moment. Feeling uplifted. Friendship. Ascending. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, and preparing for union. Okay, darlings, I am Lee. I will always bring you the tea, baby. And I would never lead you astray. So tell a friend to tell a friend, baby. Okay? So come, subscribe. Like, comment, share. Oh, we have some couple things down here in reverse. Clock, need time, takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal and progress. Photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, and wants to make new memories. Oh, so you got some a uh, little uh, maybe a secret admirer. Someone you maybe know them, but don't know that they're secretly admiring you. <laughs> okay, darlings. So, go ahead and think about your question. I'll give you three answers. You can ask one question. You can ask two questions. You can ask three questions. I'll give you a moment to think about it. In that moment, can you please like, comment, subscribe hit the notification bell hit all so that you can be notified for when it's tea time i appreciate all the love and support you show to my channel we've been growing steady steady always 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 with good intentions getting it done so thank you sagittarius i appreciate you guys let's make it do what it do are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Angel guys answering mess question. Tongue tied. Angel guys answering questions for our Sagittarius. Can we get three for our Sag? Can we get three for our Sag? Communicate clearly. Communicate clearly. It's up to you. It's always up to you, baby. It's always up to you, baby. Look for a sign. Communicate clearly. It's always up to you. Look for a sign. And on the bottom of the deck you have... Yes. Absolutely yes. Absolutely yes. Okay, follow your intuition. Look for a sign, baby. Look for a sign. You are being protected by the universe. Okay, as soon as you start making good decisions for yourself, the, the universe will double it, triple it. Okay. Fortune cookies for our Sagittarius to take along the way. In their soul's journey, can we get three? Communication, opportunities, 
A reunion can bring love or a rekindling of friendship. A lucky win seems likely. Opportunities. An important offer will be made. Be prepared and dress to impress. Remember, the new job or a higher position or a raise, something that had to do with um, material. Assert yourself. Go for what you want. The time is ripe for soulmate connections. Birth of a child also likely. Yupper! Yupper! Double confirmation. Major life change. Time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and a trouble-free existence. And that was your tea, babies. Smooches.